Welcome back to Burning River Bushcraft. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Big Agnes Prospector 50 backpack. I've got a lot of backpacking trips coming up this season, so I need to shift my focus a little bit more towards ultralight gear. I am more of a bushcraft and survival guy. That's kind of my, my niche and what I do the most. Uh, but recently, for some of my longer canoe trips, I've started using lightweight gear. So I've kind of paid more attention to size, I've paid more attention to weight, and I've went to more titanium and aluminum when possible. But backpacking is not really something that I have been geared up for. And the basis for all of this is going to be your backpack. So this is a 50 liter pack, and I've got two days in here now. I can stretch this into a six or seven day trip without really even stressing the bag out. But I love the size of the bag. When I'm facing you, you can barely even see that I've got a backpack. And if you compare that to the older uh, external frames that I'm used to, or some of the bigger, taller uh, internal frames, this is gonna be a dream to hike with. Before I take this pack off, I'm gonna show you some of the details with it on. So I've got load lifters right here. So I can pull this up, get the pack up high on me. I've got a sternum strap. And I've got a clip here for my hydration hose as well. So I've got a hip belt with two snack pockets on each side, and then I can micro tune this. I've got pull tabs on top and bottom to tune this in just for the load and for my body. So you can see why I was so happy to have this bag on. This thing is very comfortable. The straps are extremely contoured, so they don't want to slip off your shoulder even in when I don't have the sternum strap on. I've got room for my neck. It's not really pinching my neck and it's also not pinching my torso. So it's tight where it should be. It curves in and then it curves out of the way. Now this back panel, this is like a firm foam, almost like a mattress. And I don't have anything dead center. So my spine kind of free floats in here. I've got padding where it presses down on my lower back. It feels actually really good. But I've got vents here as well, or, or side areas that's gonna allow airflow to keep my back from getting sweaty. When I was wearing this, I showed you the clip for the hydration hose. And right here on the top, I've got a port for my hydration hose to come out of the bag. There's a full suspension system and a pocket inside the bag just for your bladder. So I am going all in in the ultralight backpacking game, but I'm not quite there yet. So I don't have all the specific gear there's gonna be more videos in this ultralight backpacking series. But I've got external pockets here on both sides. So this is kind of a mesh pocket and this is where most people keep their water bottles. So on this other side here, I've got my hammock. Now, if this was a longer item that I had stored, I've got straps here. So this can go up as, tie, as high as the pack is itself and I can keep everything cinched down nice and tight. I've also got bungees right here. I've got them on both sides. And this is where I can attach my trekking poles. So I've got bottom loops on both sides. I could carry ice axes or something, which is not my thing. But uh, you can definitely put two trekking poles on here. You could attach a fishing pole to this as well. I've got a chain lacing on either side. If I've got a, uh, a rain gear or a down jacket that I ditch and I just don't quite have room for, I can tie everything to the outside of my pack and it's gonna be good to go. Now I've got a snap here and there's an external pocket. And I've got just a toilet kit in here right now. The biggest advantage of this pocket is that it's outside of the main body of the pack. So if it was raining when I tore down camp, my tarp would go in here regardless of where I kept it normally. I could put the rain fly for my tent in here. Same with rain gear, if it looked like it was rainy uh, but it hadn't quite started raining yet and I knew I needed quick access to it I can put that right here so I can get to it quickly. You can see here. This is definitely a deep pocket I don't know exactly what size that is But that's going to be plenty big enough to hold any item that you want to keep separate from your main bag Either if you want quick access to it or if it's just a little bit wet or a little bit damp And you don't want to transfer that dampness to the rest of your gear Inside the main pack. I've got a pocket for my hydration bladder, but it's mainly just a dump pouch so anything small that I don't want to put in a ditty bag, I've got a pocket here on the outside. So that would be a great place for your flashlight or your water filter or something that you're going to need fairly quick access to. Down in the bottom of here, there is actually a clip as well to put your car keys. So I just put my compass and headlamp in here just for size reference. And it's not an extremely large pocket. 
it's primarily intended for smaller items. Now, I also put in that pack just for this trip. This comes with a trash bag. Now, that's pretty cool. I've never seen that before. Uh, usually, I'm using Ziploc bags, and usually they're leaking, and I definitely think this is a huge upgrade. This can be carried anywhere in the bag. Right now, I just had it rolled up in here. If this was fully loaded, I could swing this to the outside. I could slip this in this external pocket, but this is something you should definitely keep handy, and I think that is Big Agnes' design with this. You can walk up, and if you see trash, if your bag is inconvenient for you to get to your trash bag, you may leave it. This is an outstanding idea. This orange strap, in addition to holding anything higher in this side pocket, it also kind of compresses the bag. So you can pull down on these. I've got a buckle up top, so I can undo that buckle, I can lace things through, but I can pull everything tight once it's loaded. Now, to get to my main compartment, I've got a couple different options. I've got side straps here on both ends. So with those buckles undone, this is gonna load just like a dry bag. Now, while I'm at camp, I can roll this down and I don't have to torque anything down. I can go buckle to buckle. That's an outstanding idea. That way I can keep critters out of my bag. I don't have to worry about moving my bag and having it tip over and losing something. And I don't have to go through the trouble of cinching everything down just for a temporary closure if I'm out doing other things. So if you didn't want to go through the top of your bag, or if what you needed, say your sleeping bag, was at the very bottom, you also can access your bag from the back. So this back panel zips open. And because this back piece is all foam, it's kind of rigid. And then that drops down. And that gives me full access. I can lay this back on its face. I can open it up and I can see everything as it's laid out. This is a really cool feature that I've never seen before. Now with that back panel unzipped, you can see my suspension hanger for my hydration bladder. And then I've got a pocket in here to keep it from swinging around. So I've got my top and bottom quilt. I've got my tarp in here. I've got two days worth of food. I've got my full cook system. And I could have access to any of that without peeling out of the bag. So that's really a cool feature. Not really something I was expecting. I have seen bags in the past and my older, my older backpack had uh, access at the bottom where I could just pull out the very bottom of it. So basically like a back door, but this opens completely flat so I can see what's in here. That is really, really cool. If this is the kind of thing you like, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment in the comment box, and ring the bell to be notified of my latest videos. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Burning River Bushcraft. I also teach outdoor classes at OutdoorCore.com. So this is a great way to kick off my ultralight backpacking series is with a great pack like this. Now, this pack is going to be featured in a few trip videos. But this is not my pack, so I will be sending this back. But Big Agnes has a ton of different options. They've got ladies' packs as well. This is available in a medium and a large torso pack. So you can really customize stuff. They have day packs. They've got tents, and they've just got a whole bunch of stuff. So head over there and check them out. But you will be seeing this pack in upcoming videos. Once I get some miles in with it and do a couple trips, at that point I'll probably revisit this pack and tell you some of the details that I really appreciate and maybe something that I missed in this initial video. Till next time, this has been Jamie Boggs with Burning River Bushcraft. See you soon.